the ES model first debuted in 1989 as the first ever Lexus vehicle. The 2013 model year marks the beginning of the sixth generation for the ES. For 2013, the ES is offered in two models, the ES350 and the ES300H. Based upon the new Camry, the ES has a new rigid body structure. The new ES front fascia now incorporates the Lexus signature spindle grille. The 2013 ES body is both striking and aerodynamic, with a drag coefficient of 0.27. Even the side lights, just like the underbody, feature fins, which direct the air around the vehicle, decreasing drag. Right now I'm driving the hybrid version, which has a 2.5 liter inline four-cylinder engine mated with your typical hybrid drive motor generator with a lithium ion battery pack behind the back seats. Reach a limited top speed of 112 miles per hour and make a zero to 60 run in 8.1 seconds. You also have the 350 model with a 3.5 liter V6 making 268 horsepower and 248 pound-feet of torque. That'll carry you zero to 60 in uh, 7.1 seconds and hit a top speed of 130 miles per hour. The uh, new body here is much more stiff than the previous generation and you can really tell once you're in the corners. Also the coil springs are uh, reverse wound there so when you hit a bump it doesn't want to throw the way of the, the coils, instead it wants to go straight and you can really feel that. The hybrid is a very, very refined yet sporty drive at the same time which is shocking, especially for a, an ES, which has never been so uh, youthful and energetic in its handling. It's usually been rather sort of old man-ish. On both the 350 and the 300H, there are three drive modes, Eco, Normal, and Sport. When you hit Sport, the uh, electric power steering assist drops by 20% and the throttle response turns up. And you can really feel the difference here. I'll put it under Sport put it to the floor, accelerating through the corner. We have a stop sign coming up, so I need to get back on the brake, but ooh, there's the stop. And regenerative braking, here we go. Feeling good. Yield, and back to the floor. It's got a bit of a whine there, but still accelerates pretty well, 60, 70. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Lexus really feels like this hybrid model, the 300H, is going to be a game changer for them. They really feel like they're going to bring in customers that would not typically think about hybrids, the ES, or the Lexus brand altogether. Not only is the new ES better looking, it's also a bit longer, one inch to be precise. The wheelbase, though, is two inches longer, which makes the interior much more refined and luxurious. Lexus has given the attention to detail on the interior, is taking it nearly to an obsessive compulsive level. Let me tell you what I mean. The hand stitch dash here is only crafted by uh, a small group of craftsmen called Takumi. In order to become a Takumi, you have to be able to fold a uh, cat face origami in 90 seconds. Not so difficult, you'd say. Well, you have to fold it with one hand in 90 seconds. Not only that, but it has to be your non-dominant hand in 90 seconds. And it's this sort of obsession with precision that really shows here on the interior. Although I was only able to spend a short time with the new 2013 ES, I was impressed with its newfound handling characteristics, its power delivery in both a 300H hybrid and a standard 350, and the uncompromising attention to detail. Until pricing is officially announced, I'll withhold my final judgment. For now, however, I'm impressed and confident that Lexus has a hit on its hands with the 2013 ES.